fought for devolution. People are screaming about devolution, thinking it's something that started the other day. It's something that started a long time ago. Kadu and others, there are people who wanted this country devolved from then. But there are people also who wanted this country to be centralized. So those were serious ideologies, and that's where these people actually differed from. And at that point in time, it was clear to know what Martin Shkuk stood for, mm -hmm. what uh, uh, Danny Moy stood for, mm -hmm. what uh, Kenyatta Dala. stood for. Dala. It will be very easy to know this is what they stand for. And that is what we need to bring but back But seemingly that was left within themselves alone. It didn't trickle down to the Kenyan voter, did it, Moses? Uh, I think uh, my brother was saying, uh, Abubakar, sorry. You know, if you, if you go to certain regions in this country that were clearly Kadu, Majimbo was a, was a rallying call. Majimbo. You know, Majimbo was a rallying call. If you go to areas that are, were represented by Masinde Muliro, Martin Shkuku, Maremu, Ronan Gala, you know, and that group of them, it was Majimbo. And it was a clear ideology. We wanted this country governed at the local level. Resources pushed to the machinani. <laughs> Tom Boya, Ogingo Dinga, uh, Jomo Kenyatta, et al. were for the centralized system of governance. So, and, and that was clear, and I think it, it was an historical mistake that the two later on merged, because if they continued, I think uh, they, we would have had our problems, yes, growing up, but by now would have been clearly uh, maybe two, three parties, but anchored on a strong ideology. That fair, would be a fair enough, before we take a break, uh, Alex, what will it take to revive? the ideologically based political parties that you talked of at the time of independence, which you mm -hmm. said we have retrogressed from? Yeah, we need to, first of all, start by changing uh, the way we manage political parties by reducing the political parties. Uh, we cannot have more than three political parties um, and, and go to the ideological way of looking at things. Uh, that is a starting point, because when you have too many people or too many political parties, mm -hmm. then it's impossible to know what ideological standpoints uh, these political parties uh, Fair enough. Let me give, give Moses as well uh, 30 seconds to respond to that. What will it need to create political parties that are based on ideologies, as we conclude? You cannot wish away the current leaders because they hold so much sway on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on their, on their support, on the support, respective support bases. I think I go back to my, my, my first stated point that we need the, our leaders to be patriotic enough and hold this country at heart and just be re, re, just be the men and, and women of honor so that they they will reorient their politics from power 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 uh, being vehicles of power the search for power mm -hmm. to being vehicle of ideologies ideologies fair enough moses oburu political and governance expert alex manyasi governance and policy expert gentlemen many thanks for making time for us this morning. Thanks Thank for you. coming. Uh, on that note, we are taking a short commercial break. We'll be back with more international news.